it's Nell and today I'm up in the San Francisco Bay Area in a garden that I maintained for years and I am going to tell you how I took care of this weeping pussy willow. And this plant grows very vigorously. It was a big glob but I, I actually was up here in October and I pruned it out in October so it really is doing well but it was so thick that you couldn't even see into it or you couldn't see through it. And I like it to have a little bit more airiness to it. And it is December 4th, I believe, so it is changing color and it's starting to go deciduous. My client bought this plant from Wayside Gardens and it came about this tall. This is the graft here. It was about this tall. And then there was just a little bit on it so it really has grown a lot because this plant is probably it's probably been planted about 15 years now so it is um starting to grow a bit taller too and what you need to know about a weeping pussy willow is that it's a graft the weeping part is grafted onto this the, this trunk here which is basically a standard pussy willow so if you ever prune it below this graft, what's going to happen is it's just going to turn back into a pussy willow bush because all the sprouts will come off of here. I have to cut, I have to cut them off the, off of the trunk. I just wanted to get inside here and show you that graft right there. As you can see, I've thinned out a lot of branches on the inside here. And pussy willows are really tough. So they grow in almost any kind of soil, but they prefer it just slightly, slightly acetic. So if you have any, um, say anything like coco qua or leaf mold or a good rich organic compost, it will love that. Now today is an overcast, overcast, uh, almost winter day. And uh, this normally gets a lot of sun. This is a full sun area. The sun travels over there and then it sits over there so they do like they do like full sun and as you know California is in a severe drought but this garden is on drip it gets dripped twice a week it's been cut back on the watering but this part of the garden it just naturally drains down the water drains down so this is a moister part of the garden because pussy willows like regular water and they're very tough. I never ever fertilize this plant and this plant hasn't ever been fertilized. It just gets composted about every two years. The whole garden gets a nice rich local organic compost brought in and that is what it likes. And in terms of pruning, it's best done after it flowers. This one is established and it's a temperate climate. So when I was gardening here, I would prune it about three times a year. As I said, I last gave it a really hard prune in October because it was so full. So if you want it to start to grow taller, you've got to, you've got to encourage some of these. This is how it's going to grow taller because it's never going to grow up from here because the graft, it doesn't grow up above the graft. It's just these branches that make it taller and wider. I think about the tallest they get, I'm not quite sure actually, I'll, I will leave that in the blog post. I think the tallest they get is about 8 to eight to 10 feet. This one, I'm, uh, this would be 6 feet, so this one is probably about 7 feet tall now. And when I prune it, I start by taking all the, all the sprouts off of the trunk and off of here, because some of them do do form on the trunk and on these branches here and then I start to take out the dead branches and then after that I start to take out some of these bigger main branches here and there's a lot of them that cross over and there's a lot of them that come off of here as you can see I've left a few of these here um, so and then I just go around and I thin it because as I said, I like it a little bit on the thinner side. And there were, were a lot of shoots at the top and I took off a lot of those too because otherwise it just gets all, all crazy. So um, 
again, this is a climate where it grows year round, so it needs a few prunings and I do them, uh, I give it a pretty aggressive pruning. And then as you can see, uh, it's got some forking here, which I don't mind a little bit, but I, I took out a lot of that there. And I also took it up off the ground because it was on the ground because the current gardener is a little bit apprehensive about pruning this plant. So uh, I prune it when I'm up here. And it does flower, as you know. The flowers are called the catkins and they are actually starting to appear on this plant here. And that is, of course, one of the draws of a pussy willow because you can cut them. These are harder to cut and have in, in a vase, but the ones that are the standard ones you can um, you, you can cut them and have them in a vase and they are, you know, those harbingers of spring. Oh, oh, if it doesn't flower, it might have gotten hit by a late frost. Here, here it doesn't, here, here we don't have to worry about that, but if you're in a colder climate and the flowers are forming and you get hit by a late frost, then it's gonna knock the flowers off. So that is the reason it hasn't flowered or it's not getting enough sun. And this here is about seven blocks away from the Pacific Ocean. This valley gets really w w windy. There's a lot of wind here and this plant can handle it just fine. It doesn't look, um, it doesn't look battered by the wind at, at all. But I love the shape of it when it's thinned out. And as you can see, it has a big old stake in it because one winter it blew over almost completely. The wind was so strong and it just had a smaller stake in it. So it has a little bit of a lean to it, but that just shows you how tough it is because it was almost all, all the way blown over and just like uh, brought it back up and put a bigger stake in it. And it is doing just fine. I'm over here on the other side of it so you can see how wide it is. But it was so dense and so thick you couldn't even see into it but it'll fill in again. It just has a very vigorous growth habit. And this is my last day up here, so I'm sort of pushing to do a couple videos. So if I have forgotten anything about this plant, I will leave it in the blog post. The link is here, and the link is also in the description box below, but I don't think I have because it's really very easy, easy, tough plant. Well, I hope you have found this video to be helpful, and Please subscribe because I have a lot more gardening videos coming your way. Thank you for all your comments and your likes. I really appreciate them. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.